Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SPN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. Well, this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, but it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis yesterday and that's where the green line there is coming from, but monster move today. So while this line here does still pertain to the chart, it's, it's irrelevant right now and from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's clutter with lines all over the place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this for one of the near term levels now that it's been established and the level that I would call an ideal level of support right there at 85 cents. Ideal meaning, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest? And that would be if the price can stay up above 85. Now don't get me wrong though, if the price falls below 85, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes on, this line here is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying up above 85 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, main one going forward right now is all about that pink line there, which on my chart denotes the 200 period moving average. And you can see that's right where the price is now kind of getting hung up a little bit there. Sure, it's broken up above it, which is a good sign, uh, but as far as maintaining up above it and actually getting separation to the upside, that is very clearly you know where the price has been struggling. So I'm not saying the price you know can never get the you know the break of that area. I'm just saying it makes sense why the price is now all of a sudden starting to struggle right around the you know the 92, 93 cent mark. So that'll definitely be the the, the next key thing going forward is again not necessarily breaking up above it because the price has already been able to break above it, but more so getting up above it and then staying up above it. Even if that just constitutes getting up above 95 and staying above there, that would be you know kind of the first step in the right direction that this level has officially been broken. But all in all, any way you look at it. It. Great movement today, great volume. And now it's just the question of can the Bulls continue to build upon this momentum going forward? We will see. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you want to call it. But it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.